Hello students, welcome to engineering assignments. In engineering assignments, we are going to study what is depth first search algorithm. Okay, so in the last video, we have studied BFS that is breadth first search algorithm. Today, we are going to study depth first search algorithm. So this is the algorithm for depth first search. Here, uh, we can see this is the main algorithm which is involved. The main program will be over here. The algorithm passes the graph and the starting vertex u. Now, in the first step, what you have to do is you have to set all nodes as unvisited. Thereafter, you will call the DFS algorithm. So, when you call this DFS algorithm, it will go over here. This is the DFS algorithm. In that, you will mark a vertex, a particular vertex u as visited. That is your starting vertex. Next, we will find all adjacent vertex v of u for each vertex v of u if v is not visited then we will call this dfs recursively now when it is over that is the call is completed it will come here for any node x which is not yet visited so we'll check whether uh, any node say x is not visited then you have to perform dfs algorithm with that particular node say x so this is dfs algorithm now what is the complexity of dfs algorithm if the graph is represented as adjacency list so you already know that in my previous video of graph traversal we have discussed about adjacency list and adjacency matrix representation of the graph in that if the graph is represented as adjacency list in case of dfs each vertex is visited at most once so, the time devoted will be uh, how much vertex you are having in it. And after that, you have to scan the whole adjacency list. So, the time taken will be O of E. So, the total time complexity of this algorithm will be time complexity is equal to O of V plus E. Now, if the graph is represented as adjacency matrix, then there will be V square entries. So, we know that the adjacency matrix will be having V square entries. So, the entry is only checked once. Therefore, the time complexity will be V square. Now, there are some applications of DFS. Uh, DFS is basically used in finding connecting components in the graph, topological sorting in that, scheduling problems, uh, cyclic detection in the graph. Then also, it is used for finding two uh, connected components finding three connected components for both edge or vertex, then finding the bridges of the graph, finding strongly connected components, solving puzzles with only one solution such as mazes and finding biconnectivity in the graph. So, next we will discuss a numerical on DFS. Now, we are going to find out DFS traversal of this graph. But in the uh, earlier video, you have seen BFS. The BFS was using Q. But here we are using a stack. The stack you already know. It is LIFO operated. That is last in, first out manner. It will be working. Then I will be having a result part to print the result of the traversal. So we will start. Now here we can take any node as a starting node. There is no restriction on selection. Okay, you can take 0, you can take 1, you can take 2, etc. So, for the time being, I am going to take 0. So, according to the algorithm, uh, when a vertex is being selected, it will be inserted into the stack. After inserting into the stack, I must print it. Okay, now the 0 has been printed. Next, according to the algorithm, I have to check the adjacent node of 0. So, adjacent nodes of 0 is 3 and 1. In BFS, we used to take both 3 and 1 onto the queue. But here, you have to take 1 or 3. Not and, 1 or 3. Okay. So, I am going to take 1. Pushing 1 onto the top of the stack. So, I am traversing towards 1 now. Alright. Now, next thing is that when 1 has been traversed, I am uh, putting it into the result. Alright. Now, we have to find out any one of the unvisited vertices. The unvisited vertices of 1 is 3, 2, 6 and 5. 
so i am taking 3 i am traversing towards 3 and i am pushing it into the stack i am printing it in the result now we have reached 3 now we have to find out the adjacents of 3 adjacents of 3 is 4 you have 2 you have 1 you have 0 here you can see that the 1 and 0 both are visited so no need of taking that so you can take either 4 or 2 so i'm going to take 2 as a next move so i'll be traversing towards 2 i am pushing it onto the stack i am printing 2 here all right now we have to find out the adjacents of 2 the adjacents of 2 is 1 3 5 and 4 in this 1 3 both are visited one so no need of taking them so you have to take unvisited nodes say 5 or 4 any one you can take for so here i'm going to take 4 whenever i take 4 i am inserting or pushing on to the top of the stack so i am traversing towards 4 then i am printing it in the result now 4 has adjacent nodes 3 2 and 6 from this you can see that 3 and 2 is already been visited so no need of taking that so we will traverse towards 6 Okay so 6 should be pushed onto the top of the stack and it must be printed on to the result for when you reach 6 you have to find out the adjacent nodes here the adjacent nodes of 6 is 1 and 4 both are visited one so you can say that there is no unvisited adjacent vertices in case of 6 so when you reach 6 you have reached a dead end when you reach the dead end you start popping from the stack so you have to pop from the stack that is six will be popped out when you are performing pop operation on the stack you will backtrack okay so it has come away from 4 to 6 no so it has to go same way back when you have reached here at 4 you will check whether there is any unvisited vertices of 4 actually 4 has 3 2 and 6 these all are visited so what we will do is we will pop this 4 from this top of the stack okay so we are going to backtrack towards 2 okay now we have reached 2 now we have to check whether 2 has any unvisited node Yes, two has an unvisited node that is five. So we have to traverse towards five. When you traverse towards five, then we must push this five onto the top of the stack. So I have redrawn the stack once again because six and four is already popped out, and five is inserted into the stack, and we will print it in the result. Now, when we have reached five, then we will check whether we we have any unvisited nodes of five. No, the five doesn't have any unvisited node. You can't move further from the five, so we'll have to backtrack from the five. So you will backtrack from where it has come. So we will go back to two. Okay, when you are backtracking from the stack, you will pop out. That is, five is popped out. All right. Now the stack will contain zero, one, three, two. Now we have reached two. Okay, from two, you check whether is there any unvisited adjacent neighbors of two. No, you don't have. So if you don't have, you will pop the two from top of the stack. You will backtrack from two to three. Now from three also, you check whether uh, is there any unvisited uh, vertices of three. you can see that there is no unvisited vertices of 3 so what we will do we will pop out our 3 and we will backtrack so we'll have to backtrack towards where it has come that is it has come from 1 so we'll backtrack from 3 to 1 okay next while reaching 1 you again check whether is there any unvisited nodes of 1 there's no unvisited nodes of 1 so we will 
pop out now next what step you have to do from 1 you will have to backtrack towards 0 so while 0 has come we will check whether 0 is having any unvisited nodes no then what you will do will pop out from the stack now our stack has become fully empty when the stack becomes empty it indicates that it is the end of the traversal finally this result will be printed see after zero i have taken one if i had taken three you would have another uh, dfs traversal okay so you can have numerous dfs traversal for this particular graph so students i think it's okay for you thank you students thank you for watching my video